Chicago, Tulsa Blaze in the house, Cheryl Rush, I would love to do a Facebook Live with you to get the word out about your Blaze, Brooklyn, New York, Austria, uh, Michigan, Chicago, California, good morning, Chicago, I'm coming your way July the 14th, it's two weeks, flash pop-up revival meetings, going to want to get ready for that. Registration is free. Page will be up today. Good morning, Deborah Athis. Good to see you. I'm going to hand it over to you, let you pray. Good morning, Dubai. Awakeningblaze.com. Join the movement. Cincinnati, good morning. Awakening Blaze. Join the movement. Hello, Megan Jordan. Good to see you. Maryland. Awakening Blaze, join the movement. Listen, Igniters, you may not have heard. I'm starting a seer division in the Ignite Prophetic Network, ignitenow.org. Starting a seer division. Gathering the seers. Gathering the seers. You may have heard or read the seer word I released on my website on Elijah List on Charisma Mag North Carolina in the house Brooklyn, New York, Connecticut IgniteNow.org Sears, where are you? Sears, where are you? Morning Vivian in Tampa we're going to start in 30 seconds share this with your friends invite your followers it's time to wake up good morning Cecil my friend. Singapore coming your way in September. Operation Liberation. Going to the nation. Setting the captives free. Let's get started. 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 started. This music is 
so comforting. I like it. I like it. Looking for a few intercessors to go on vacation with me in Kansas City. Join me for my retreat. Remind me. Email the office. I got to get started. My God. It's going to be good. Jennifer LeClaire here with you, author of our devotional Mornings with the Holy Spirit, listening daily to the still, small voice of God. I'm the senior leader at the Awakening House of Prayer, an epicenter of equipping, a place where the Holy Spirit does what he wants to do all the time. God is good. Today's devotion titled, Let Love Motivate Your Words and Actions. Let love motivate your words and actions. My, my, my. Here's what I heard the Lord say. Take an eternal view on earth and act according to that eternal view, and it will change your life for eternity. My God, the words you speak and the actions you take now have the potential to bring you eternal rewards, says the Lord. So be cautious not to speak idle words. Speak words that will edify, comfort, and exhort your brothers and sisters in Christ. Use your words and actions to share the love of Christ with the lost ones around you, says God. Whatever is not of faith is sin, but whatever is motivated by love has eternal impact. Take an eternal view, says God, and let the love of the Father constrain you. Amen. That is a good word. Today's scripture references Hebrews 13, 14, Colossians chapter 3, verses two, verse 2, and 1 Peter chapter 1, verse 3 and 4. And why do I read these scriptures? Because they align with the prophetic word. You can find these same truths within the scriptures if you dig. Today's prayer starter helped me to see things from a heavenly perspective and give me revelation and understanding about the eternal impacts of my decisions. My, my, my. Motivate my heart to share the love of Christ. Help me to think thoughts of love, speak words of love, and walk in love. In Jesus' name, Father, we thank you that you are love. You are love. You yourself are love. You don't just embody love. You don't just walk in love. You don't just shed your love abroad in our hearts by the Holy Ghost. You don't just speak words of love to our soul when we're downtrodden. You are love. And we give you praise. We give you honor. We give you glory. We lift up love today. Lord, we say help us to really receive and embrace your love. Not love as the world gives it, but that agape love, that perfect love, that unconditional love, the love that loves even when it doesn't feel like loving. God, would you help us today? Would you help us today? Bring us into that place as we come into your presence. In your presence is fullness of joy. So we exalt the joy giver. We exalt the lover of our soul. We exalt our liberator, Jesus Christ. We give you praise. We give you honor, God. Let, let us and help us to walk circumspectly, to not take for granted that which is around us, to not take for granted the blessings that are chasing us down and overtaking us, to not uh, neglect the study of your word, the, the, the study of your heart. I just feel so strongly today. God wants us not just to study his word. That's a good thing. But he wants us to study his heart. He wants us to see him as he is. He wants us to know him. What is theology after all? But the study of God, the very study of God, his goodness, his character, his mercy, all of these things that encompass who he is, the descriptors, his names, understanding who he is. There's more. There's a deeper revelation of the Godhead. There's a deeper understanding of the love of the Father. There's more revelation into the power in the name of Jesus. There is something more to understand about the Holy Spirit, our comforter, our standby, our advocate, our intercessor. Oh, Jesus. Jesus, today would you help us not to just chase the latest Christian fad, the latest Christian revelation, even though it's a good thing. Help us not to, to stop pursuing your heart so we can pursue the next big revelation. God, help us. 
Help us, Lord. We want to know you more as the song goes. We want to know you more. We want to love you more. We want to see you more. It's not all about your gifts. It's about you, your very essence, your heart, who you really are toward us, who you really are even toward the lost, who you are, your character, your character, your character. Oh, your mercies. They're new every day. Thank you, Jesus, that you died for us that we might be recipients of the mercy of God. We might be candidates for the everlasting mercy, the grace that overtakes us. God, we thank you that you are the spirit of grace. You are not the spirit of condemnation. You are the spirit of grace. You are the ultimate forgiver. You never grow weary of forgiving when your children run to you with a repentant heart. We thank you, Lord, that you have drawn near to us as we We've drawn near to you. God, draw nearer still. God, woo us into your presence. Help us to practice your presence as we walk throughout our day. God, would you help us to be mindful, not just of your word, but of your heart, not just of your precepts, but of your presence. God, we thank you that you make us more sensitive day by day by day by day as we pursue you with everything in us. Lord, let us no longer be half-hearted or one-quarter hearted or three-quarters hearted or 99% hearted but Lord let it be a hundred percent we want to be a hundred percent one hundred percent one hundred percent one hundred percent aligned with you one hundred percent seeking you one hundred percent following after you one hundred percent moving and living and having our being in you one hundred percent God no more half-heartedness no more lukewarmness no more coldness no more Lord, we want to be on fire. Lord, set us on fire fire. Lord, help us, Lord, to remove, to burn away, to, 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 to reject everything that hinders love. We give you praise and glory and honor today. You gave 100% to us. My God, my God, you gave your only begotten son. You put him on a cross. You allowed him to suffer. You allowed him to go through absolute hell, even down into hell. For our sakes, because you loved us. You sacrificed the one for the many, and then you resurrected the one, and then you resurrected us. We thank you, Lord, for resurrection power, to resurrect our hopes, our dreams. Oh, God, would you just give us a glimpse of your glory today? Would you just give us a glimpse of your glory today? Oh, you're a just God. I thank you, Lord. I thank you, Lord. I thank you, Lord, for your justice. Hallelujah, for your justice, God, for your protection, for your provision. Oh, God, we can't thank you enough today. We're singing your praises. We're singing your praises. We're singing your praises in the name of Jesus. Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. There's nobody like you, Jesus. No greater God. No one compares. You are lovely. You are pure. You are holy. You are awesome. You are mighty. We extol our God today. We give you praise. We give you honor. You are so good. My, 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 the goodness of God in the land of the living. Had we not believed we would see it, we would have fainted. But we've held out hope there's somebody out there. And you've, I don't know who you are, but you've clung to the spirit of that scripture. If I had not believed I would see the goodness of God in the land of the living, I would have fainted. I would have faltered. David cried these words. He sung these words. He meditated on these words. He thought about it. I would have fainted if I did not believe. I would have seen the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. Father, I thank you that we will not faint. We will not grow weary. I break weariness off your people today in the name of Jesus. We will not faint. I bind that fainting spirit in the name of the Lord. I thank you, Lord. We will not stop. We will not slow down. We will pick up our pace in the name of the Lord. I thank you, Lord, for the time redemption miracles that we prophesied, prayed into, and believed 
for yesterday I thank you Lord for the time redemption miracles we stand on that not just for a day but for a season until all things have been reconciled and made right and caught up in the name of Jesus I thank you Lord that there's always more to do there's always a new conquest there's always a new mission there's always a new mandate there's always a, there's always a new assignment there's always something new to do but God I thank you that you help us to finish the things that you have put in our hands for this season so we can fully embrace that which you've called us to in the next season I thank you Lord that you release that key of finishing God in the name of the Lord I break procrastination in the name of Jesus and I thank you Lord that you will cause us to rise up and make another push rise up and start over even from the beginning if we have to if the mistakes are too great if the mess is too big if we'd be better off cutting our losses and starting from square one God help us to see that the right move is is to let go and start again start anew help us not to be afraid of of cutting losses when those losses are, are causing more losses I see some of you don't want to let go of something because you don't want to lose uh, the, the progress that it looks like you've made the only problem is you're not really making progress you're going backwards you're standing still you're not advancing because you're carrying the wrong strategy or you're carrying dead weight somewhere you're carrying something that has slowed you down but the Lord says if you'll let go of that which is not working Working, I can show you what will work but as long as you keep fixating says God on what's not working and how to fix what doesn't work I can't show you the real I can't show you the next I can't show you the blessing I can't show you what I have for you because you won't let go of what I've asked you to set down says God I just thank you Lord that you again give us again wisdom in this season of realignments and reassignments no more dead weight 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 we're gonna stop trying to hold on to the lost cause I just heard that some of you are holding on to lost causes David said when he ran before he ran to the battle line to fight to fight Goliath he said is there not a cause the Israelites saw that the battle as a lost cause they did not think they could win it but God but but David saw God's cause David saw the victory to be had by running to the battle line he had to leave those sheep behind he had to leave his family behind he had to leave the usual way of doing things behind he'd never fought a battle against a giant he never had but he did and he won he said is there not a cause look there's a cause for you some of you there's a new cause for you but you don't want to let go of the old cause some of you think the thing that you've got your hand on would fall apart if you weren't there maybe it would maybe it needs to or maybe it wouldn't maybe it would rise from the ashes like a phoenix from the flame Lord, we give you praise and honor and glory. Give us wisdom. Navigate our steps. Order our steps. Your word tells us that you will. So we draw close to you in Jesus' name. Seeking your wisdom for our next steps. Seeking your wisdom for that next thing. There is a next. There is a next. And yes, there's warfare. There is a next. Yes, there's warfare. There's always warfare. But there's also victory. So we thank you today, God, for that victory, that overwhelming victory. Yeshua Brashtarabashti, in Jesus' name, in Jesus' name, in Jesus' name, in Jesus' name, in Jesus' name. Thank you, Lord. No more dead weight. No more lost causes. God does not move in lost causes. All of God's causes lead to victory. When we follow his strategy and his timing is there not a cause is there not a cause there's a cause for you I see the Lord Lord pouring out passions for causes in this season I said passions for causes passions for causes he's gonna put a burden for a cause on many hearts in this hour and you might have to walk away from the cause of the past season to pick up the new cause some of you it'll be a pro-life cause or some of you it'll be a feeding the hungry cause or some of it it'll be mentoring youth in your community there's a cause he's pouring out new causes passion for new causes you'll be drawn to it 
The Lord will bring divine connections to, 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 to put you in relationship with those who can help you to forward the cause. Some of you will be invited to join a cause. It's not all about starting your own cause. It's about uh, put letting every joint supply toward the cause of Christ. So we thank you, Lord. Highlight the causes that you want us to sow in in this season. Some of you, you, some of you it's not a, a cause where you're going to labor. It's a cause you're going to give to. It's a cause you're gonna gonna sow time. Some of you, it's a cause you're gonna sow time into. Some of you, intercessors, it's a cause you're gonna sow prayer into. Some of you, financiers, givers, those with the grace to give, it's gonna be causes that you give into. But God is pouring out new passion for causes in this season. I'm telling you, this is a good word. You're going to see it happen. It shall be so. It is so even now. It's happening. David said, Is there not a cause? Is there not a cause? Is there not a cause? Some of you are going to have a cause to see liberation of the captives, healing of the sick, restoration of, the, of, the, the, of sight to the blind. And that might be through the laying on of your hands or it might be through sowing into a ministry that has a reputation for seeing blind eyes open. Or a medical facility that's providing glasses to those children that are nearly blind without them. I'm telling you, there's new causes being poured out. David said, is there not a cause? Is there not a cause? Is there not a cause? I need this transcript because I need to get this word out to give people faith who have felt restless. They felt stagnant. They felt like they, they're just stuck. Like they're, there's no, they're, they've lost their passion for whatever they're doing. I'm telling you, there's a new cause coming. And when that new cause, come, when that new cause comes, the Lord is saying your passion will be rekindled to pursue and execute against the new cause. Shokotoro says, I have many causes upon my heart, and I will put some of them upon the hearts of my people in a new way. I will put burdens, I will put give seed to the sower, I will give strength and stamina to the weary who have gone through a season of lost causes, but I will give them winning causes, and they will see fruits, and they will find joy in laboring for the cause that I have put on their heart, for sowing, for giving, for, 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 uh, for, for laboring, uh, for supporting, for praying into the causes I have put on their heart says God I myself will bring refreshing into those who are willing to embrace the cause that I've put on their life in this season for some of you uh, I, I see the Lord saying for some of you it's just your, your family is the cause and your family needs to be the cause some of you are facing issues with your teenagers with your children and you've been helping so many people with different causes and you don't have to completely walk away from those things but your main cause needs to be your family I see that there's some people that will, su will support in whatever way the Lord leads them multiple causes. But there's going to be, a, listen to me, there's going to be a reprioritization of your, of, of your causes. Some of you are going to see a reprioritization. The thing that was the most important is going to go down a notch or two on the priority list. Because God is giving you new things or he wants you to refocus on things that, where, where there's, uh, there's been enemy attack. David didn't just fight any battle. He fought the battle that the Lord set in front of him. He said, is there not a cause? David didn't, you know, he could have, he could have fought some other battle and may not have had the same success because the grace and anointing wasn't on him to fight that battle, that giant, that Goliath. When God gives you a cause, when God stations you in front of a certain giant, or when God uh, 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 blesses you, prospers you to be a giver into causes, when you give into the right cause, when you give into the cause that God is breathing on, more comes back to you so you can give it to yet another cause. But you must, some of you need to prioritize your giving. Some of you need to prioritize your prayer. Some of you need to prioritize your, your, your hands-on work with different causes. And the Lord's going to give you wisdom. Father, I thank you that you give us wisdom. Thank you, Lord. Thank you for wisdom for the cause. In Jesus' name. Wisdom for the cause. Wisdom for the cause. Wisdom for the cause. Wisdom for the cause. In Jesus' name. We thank you, Lord. And before I got on the call this morning, I don't want to forget this. I don't want to forget this. There's so many things I'm studying. I'm getting pulled by the Holy Spirit just deeper into, into three or four main topics. And 
I've always been a multitasker, so I tend to study more than one thing at a time and find often they intersect. But I heard the Lord say one thing about 10 minutes before the broadcast started. He said, streamlined. Hear me. Streamlined. 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 And what does that mean? It's, it's, a, it's a smooth flow without turbulence. It's a, it's, a, it's a flow that's like perfectly designed to decrease resistance. So some of you have been facing such turbulence in your call or, or a, a great resistance in that which the Lord put, told you to put your hand to. But there's coming an adjustment. Hear me now. I'm prophesying to you. Hear me now. There's coming an adjustment that will streamline your efforts. I, it's kind of like, yeah, I see a picture right now. I see a picture of a hose that has a kink in it. You know, I, I grew up, you know, in the 70s and the 80s, and, and we, we were always played with the water hose. I lived in a, a, a you know, like a cul-de-sac kind of community with a big house, and we had, a, we had what we would, we would have, a, what do you call those, slip and slides, and, and, and the sprinklers things where you'd run through and play. But we would get the hose, and, and, and sometimes the, 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 the flow of water would stop because there was a kink in the hose some of you have kinks in your hoses and that's why the flow hear me now that's why the flow is hindered or even just dripping or sometimes stopped because there's a kink in your spiritual hose but the Lord is going to bring a streamlining in this season where there's going to be a free flow. There's not going to be any kinks in your hose, no chinks in your armor. In the name of Jesus, I thank you, Lord, for the streamlining in the name of the Lord. And I see that. This is connected to the new cause. I see that, Lord. This is connected to entering the new cause or re-upping on the cause he's called you to. Some of you have grown weary in your cause and you wanted to give up your cause. But the Lord is saying, I've not called you to give up I've called you to refresh and it's because of the it's because of the battle it's because of the resistance it's because of the turbulence but the Lord is bringing a streamlining in your ministry the Lord is bringing a streamlining in your mind you're going to be able to think freely there's there's it's almost like some of you just like you, you can't get off the same uh, the, the, the the one thoughts is over and over and over and over it's like a broken record there's this thought that torments you it brings turbulence to your mind but the Lord is about to unkink your hose and there's going to be a streamline even in your mind and the creativity that you had in the past season and those ideas how they would flow the strategies they would come with ease and suddenly they dried up or they were dripping or they slowed down to the point that you wondered what is wrong with me but the Lord is bringing a streamlining in this season yes Lord streamline our minds in the name of Jesus I thank you Lord for the smooth flow without turbulence briste kata the smooth flow without turbulence. The smooth flow without that resistance. Yes, there's always a measure of resistance. But I mean, you're going to streamline certain things organizationally, even in your ministries, organizationally in your businesses, organizationally in your home. You're going to reorder some things. You're going to reorganize some things for the streamline. And God is going to hear me, God. Hear me, hear me, people. Hear me. There's a streamlining coming where things that were in disorder... Some of it's not, listen to me, some of it's not even the devil. Some of it's not even the devil. Some of it's not even the devil. You just got things so jacked up out of, out of order that there's not a streamline. You've got a kink in your hose because you allowed, uh, 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 it's like, uh, it's just the, the war, you, you just took your hand off something. You didn't, you, you, you didn't, you, you got out of a, out of, out of sync somehow, probably because of the warfare. A streamlining coming. God is going to give you designs for minimum resistance to motion. Minimum resistance. Listen, there will always be resistance. But resistance can be minimized. When we have the right strategy and the right time, when we're, when we're fully obeying God, resistance can be minimized. I know you've all been through seasons where it seems like there's not much resistance against you. Get with the Lord. Reflect on that. 
how did I enter into that momentum? Reflect on the seasons in your life when everything seemed to be going so well, where there was minimum resistance. Was it just the grace of God? Listen. Or was it that you were just so perfectly aligned with his will that you were streamlined, that you were organized, that you were, you were receiving grace, walking in love? What was it? When you can figure out that sweet spot, you're ahead of the game. So, Father, we thank you for the streamlining in Jesus' name. We give you praise and honor and glory. We magnify the God of the streamline. God, help us to reorder our lives if we have to. Help us to reorder our businesses if we have to, God. Help us, Lord, to find the kink in the hose and unkink the hose that the water, the, the Holy Spirit, the, the, the anointing, the grace can flow, flow freely through our lives in Jesus' name. I thank you that you are the God of the stream. My Lord, let us get in your stream. Let us get in your stream. Let us stand in your stream. Let us walk in your stream. Let us merge streams with others. I see that, Lord. Part of the streamlining is, is taking place through a, through a merging of streams where you're going to work with. I, I mentioned this on some Facebook Live I was on. Unlikely partnerships. I prophesied unlikely partnerships. I got to go back and find that. I think I was on with Stidham. Unlikely partnerships. Somebody needs to go find that for me. Maybe Prophet Jamila can go find it because I think I prophesied to you. Maybe you can find that for me on his page. It's probably way back there in the videos. Unlikely partnerships. Part of your streamlining, part of the kink in your hose is because, oh my goodness, you tried to do some things yourself that had called you to partner with others on. I was speaking with a man of God uh, uh, yesterday on the phone. Uh, and he began to prophesy to me about a publishing company and all these things, which I've already started low key. I just haven't really announced or made a splash with. And he said, you know, I, he goes, I suppose I could do that. But he goes, he said, you have the, the, the grace and the mantle for it and the experience and the anointing for it. And why would I try to do what you could do easily? Why would I not just come rather and support you and help you and, and push it forward? And be a voice on the platform, but I don't have to build the platform. When you're building it, you, you, the God, you're the, the appointed one to do it. Some of you, some of you, it's a matter of if you would support someone else's stream, someone else would come and support your stream. There's a crossing of the streams and unusual partnerships. I prophesied it about a month ago before I went to Europe. Unusual partnerships. Those who you would not think would flow together. You'll be seeing an announcement later today of my working with someone that you wouldn't think I'd be working with. And this is a manifestation of the prophetic word that I released a month ago that I didn't even, wasn't even talking to this person a month ago. We knew who each other were. We're not strangers. But I've never had a phone call. Not one phone call. Not even, a, not even an introduction. Not, a, not an exchanged message on Facebook. Nothing. So you're going to find in these days, these unusual partnerships, rising, synergies, crossing of the streams. Somebody remind me, email me, find the, the prophecy on Stidham's page or remind me to do so, please. I must get that off. I want to put, I want to put a collection of these words that are, that are, that are tying together. There's, there's these, these words that I'm releasing and some of them I, I can see now is to connect the dots. It's like, it, it's like this word is a dot, this word is a dot and it's coming together. I need these words. Oh, thank you, Lord, for the streamlining. Thank you, Lord, for the unique partnerships and thank you for the help that is coming in Jesus name. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. I'm telling you, there's the wind of God on this. I don't even want to move on. I'm contemplating. I'm excited. Somebody needs to get excited. I'm telling you, some of you need to get excited. I prophesied two or three months ago, must have been three months ago. I don't know about a season of realignments and reassignments. And my God, that's what we're seeing. That's what I'm seeing. Maybe I'm your forerunner. If you're not seeing it and you need it, believe for it. This is what God is doing, but we must cooperate with him. We must be willing to walk away from the things that are maybe good things, but they're not God things. And some of them aren't even good things. They're bad things that look like good things. And you want them to be good things, but they're no longer good things. It's not that they're wicked things. They're just no longer good for you. Brashama shekete rakatarawashti. 
Queen Esther, Queen Hayes, get excited. Get excited, get excited, get excited, get excited, get excited. I'm telling you, I feel the wind of God on this. This is not common for me to, I don't, I'm just lingering. Oh, There's something on this. I see it. Whosoever will press into it can have it. If you're bearing witness to it, press into it. If it's not for you, just pray for somebody else. Shakatam brashtarabashti. Shake it. That's one of the reasons why the Lord gave me this, this vision yesterday at Ignite Network to, to gather the seers and to build a division for seers. Not to exclude others who don't see, but to really put together a real company of seers. I see councils forming out of Ignite, even to speak into nations. Because we have people from Norway and people from uh, Austria and people from Australia and New Zealand. We have all kinds of, uh, the, the nations are represented in the Ignite Prophetic Network. And, I, and I'm, I, as the seer mantle came on me, this, this mantle to raise up seers and to see myself deeper into the spirit. As it came upon me last November at the ACPE in Dallas. It's been unfolding for these months and it keeps going deeper and deeper and deeper with the seers. I need the seers to rise up. God needs the seers to rise up and he's positioned me as a facilitator. If you are in the Ignite Prophetic Network, I'm telling you, this, is, this could be the, the thing that just tips you over the edge and brings you up higher. If you're already in Ignite, you need to respond to the post I put yesterday. If you're not, you need to join tier two or higher. Tier one is just a mailing list. Doesn't do you any good with regard to these special projects. This is exclusive for the people I'm pouring into. This is exclusive for those who, who we can trust. We, we know each other. Know those who labor among you, says the Lord. It's, it's in the Bible. Know those who labor among you. So I'm not opening this up to just anybody. I want to know you. IgniteNow.org. The seers are arising. We're, I don't know. It's a company of seers. And we're launching companies of prophets all over the world. That's my next initiative. Ignite members coming together in different cities around the world and forming companies. IgniteNow.org. Some, some of you just need to go sign up today and get involved in this. And help me to build it. It's not all up on me to build. It's all up to the, to the network to build it together. IgniteNow.org. Amen. God is good. I want to give you an opportunity to sow into the ministry today. Yesterday we pressed for time redemption miracles. I tell you, uh, personally, I got so much done yesterday. I got most of the rest of my writer's manual finished. I, got all, I had a very long productive phone call. A wide door of opportunity opened for me in Chicago out of nowhere. I couldn't have possibly. Somebody, uh, Rogine, actually uh, helped me to find this. She redeemed time for me by doing this legwork. What a blessing. I mean to tell you on and on and on. It was like an explosion of time redemption for me yesterday. I even did an evenings with the Holy Spirit prayer call, which I never have time to do. And I did the extreme prophetic mentoring after that. I mean, it was like jam packed, bam, bam, bam. And I'm believing for that again today. Some of you, if you're looking for a cause to sow into, I'm telling you, we would welcome your donation. We would welcome your partnership. I've launched Operation Liberation. I'm going into the nations with, with, uh, with a liberation mandate. It was prophesied over me that I was a national liberator. When I was in Europe, the word of the Lord came uh, by a major prophet uh, that I'm a national liberator. There's at least five nations in particular that I will be key in bringing liberation but I will go to many nations, and I'm going to Nigeria, uh, the, the, the Philippines, Singapore, and Taiwan. This is no joke. This is not a light assignment. This is something I've been prepared for for the last 20 years. The Lord has released me into the high calling on my life. If you want to sow into Operation Liberation, you want to sow into the media ministry so we can get these calls into China and in closed countries. I'm telling you, I'm working on all kinds of things to bring liberation to the nations through media as well. Because I can't go everywhere all the time. But my voice can through the media. I, I, I urge you today to help me with this. Because we have to pay our own ways on these things. If you want to donate today, go to jenniferleclair.org slash, uh, slash give. jenniferleclair.org slash give. 
G-I-V-E, jenniferleclair.org slash give. You can become a partner there. You can sow a one-time seed there. The partner, the new partner resource for July. Partners, you get a free resource every month. It will be up in just a few days. So you're going to want to, if you get in as a partner now, you're going to get two for one, amen? Because you get this month's and you get last month's. Or the next month's. jenniferleclair.org slash give. You can use PayPal, PayPal. Dot me slash Jennifer LeClaire. You know, some people go around the world trying to build their kingdoms. And other people go around the world trying to build God's kingdom. And only God's kingdom will stand at the end of the day. PayPal.me slash Jennifer LeClaire. PayPal.me slash Jennifer LeClaire. You can use the text to give. 754-701-2161. Seven five four seven zero one two one six one. Text the word pray. P R A Y. You can use the PO box. PO box three zero five six three. Fort Lauderdale, Florida. Three 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 zero three. PO box three zero five six three. Fort Lauderdale, Florida. Three 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 zero three. You can send checks or money orders. You can send. Dark chocolate, 70% or higher, please. Organic preferred. Praise God. Amen. I get so much chocolate. I love chocolate. When you're starving on a plane and there's nothing to eat, you can have just one little piece of chocolate and it'll get you where you're going. Plus, it's good. God is good. If, you're, if you've got a new CD, you're a musician, you want me to, you want me to hear it because I might shout it out, you can send that testimonies you can send those i want to pray father i thank you for this offering god i thank you lord that it's a sweet smelling sacrifice to you lord i ask you to multiply it back to the givers let it let it accomplish the work of the ministry let it accomplish the work of the lord for your glory help me to steward every penny with great wisdom in jesus name I lift up all of my Ignite Network members and leaders, my Awakening Blaze leaders and intercessors, my staff, my volunteers, all the givers into the ministry, all my intercessors. I lift them up to you now, and I place a hedge of protection around them in Jesus' name. I plead the blood of Jesus over them from the top of their head to the soles of their feet. I break warfare assignments over their lives to still kill and destroy, and I release the blessing of God. The blessing of God. The blessing of God in Jesus' name. Amen, amen, amen. I want to just do a, a, a small teaching in just a moment uh, about uh, the enemy's camp and sending confusion, how God himself will do that and how when we walk out, we can depend on God to do whatever it takes to, to make his part come to pass. I want to share that with you in just a moment, but I want to remind you of some, some, uh, some events coming up. Many of them are free. Some of them are not. Uh, but we have the, some of them are like this week, so you need to get in on this if you want to. Develop your God-given prophetic DNA. I'll be uh, uh, doing this teaching, uh, this talk with uh, Prophet John Veal from Chicago. Develop your God-given prophetic DNA. Uh, that is on Thursday at 4 o'clock. Please go sign up for that, jenniferleclair.eventbrite.com. I'll be doing a teaching on Friday night. This will be in person at the Awakening House of Prayer. It will also be online. So just sign up at jenniferleclair.eventbrite.com. And uh, it's going to be about five ways to destroy the works of darkness in your life. Uh, it's, you're going to find it under 101 Tactics for Spiritual Warfare because I'm teaching from my book. But the specific teaching this time is going to be five ways to destroy the works of darkness in your life. Uh, if you are in South Florida, you're going to want to be part of the Get Equipped to Heal the Sick and Raise the Dead. Uh, there's going to be eight teachings. It's an equipping series at Awakening House of Prayer. Uh, it is uh, going to be on July the 7th at 9 a.m. starting at 9 a.m. You, uh, you can get in on this. It is free when you come in person. If you want to watch it online, there is a fee for that because of the technology involved. Ahop U dot org ahopu.org to watch it online uh the writers 
and the writing and publishing secrets of best-selling Christian authors. Uh, that is coming up soon. Uh, may have to, uh, uh, if, if, if you're part of the Ignite Network or the Writers Network, you do get a discount. Contact the office for the particular code on that one. My, listen, my mid-year prophetic update. Go sign up for this. Mid-year prophetic update. I'll be sharing uh, where we are prophetically in this mid-year. Uh, this is the year of metamorphosis. This is on Eventbrite. Eventbrite.com. I'm sorry, JenniferLeClaire.com. I'm sorry, JenniferLeClaire.Eventbrite.com. Partner via PayPal. You go to go if you want to partner. Go to my website, JenniferLeClaire.org/give, and there is a PayPal option through that. Uh, I don't know if you can partner directly through PayPal or not. I think you probably can, but it's easier to go through the website. Sign up for the mid-year prophetic update. You can come in person in South Florida. I'll be laying hands on people, or you can register and you'll get a link to watch it online. You will get a link to watch it online. Up and out deliverance ministry training. Uh, if you're in South Florida, come in person uh, to that. If you're not, you can watch any of these sessions online at ahopu.org. Our mass deliverance service is on July 29th, the day before I leave for Nigeria. Mass deliverance. What a way. Go out with the bang. Uh, you can go to, uh, to uh, if you're in South Florida, Eventbrite. If you are not in South Florida, ahop.tv. And then Drowning Marine Demons, it's a spiritual warfare intensive. If you're in South Florida, Eventbrite. If you're not, schoolofthespirit.tv, schoolofthespirit.tv. Just a few sets, a few, uh, few spots left on the prophetic intercession retreat. Still waiting on word. I gotta email these people, I'm making myself a note. Still waiting on the word uh, on the facility but we will be in Kansas City prophetic and it's like a little vacation, but I'm going to be pouring into you. I don't know how much of a vacation it'll be for me, but I will be enjoying myself with fellowship and nice meals and soaking in the prayer room there in Kansas City. Prophetic intercession retreat. I'm telling you, this is uh, going to be August the 9th, uh, starting August 9th, 10th and 11th. You're going to want to go a little vacation with me. Encounter services with myself, Brian Meadows, Jonathan Ferguson, Jonathan Stidham in August. Go there on Eventbrite, free registration. Uh, so just go on that Eventbrite, sign up for just everything you want. <laughs> you just go there and say, I like this, I like this, I like this, I like this, I like this. Hallelujah. School of Media, especially if you're in the ministry. You want to learn how to do better photography, how to do simple videos, how to uh, do your social media, create your branding. School of Media, uh, go to school of uh, school TV. Or if you want to sign up on Eventbrite, when you sign up for the School of Media, you actually get a, a, a five thousand dollar app for a thousand dollars. If you want that, there's a there's a special deal. These apps usually cost about five thousand dollars. They can actually cost ten thousand dollars. But you want a custom built app? You can get that as a, through our partnership here with that in the School of Prophetic. So there's tons of stuff at school at uh, jenniferleclair.eventbrite.com, schoolofthespirit.tv. Please make note, uh, if you're coming in person, it's one issue. If you're watching online, it's another issue. If you have any questions at all or confused about that, if it's not clear, uh, then just email the office and we will help you. Amen. Hallelujah. God is good. I think those were the main things there today. So I want to teach you, and I'm going to go back on Facebook. I'm coming off and going back on so we can split this teaching. God bless you, Bahrain. Awakeningblaze.com. Bahrain, I'm waiting for you. Praise God. Esther, thanks for helping me get the word out. Be right back on Facebook.